What's up again guys? Yeah, it's me, your friendly neighborhood Dovahkiin, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 Early Access. And uh, before we begin, be sure to hit on the subscribe button for more great videos. Okay, in the last episode, we cleared the eastern section of the Blighted Village. Today, we're gonna clean up the rest of it. But uh, before that, I'm gonna segue on potential pets, a dog and an owlbear cub. And speaking of owlbears, this vid is super sized. Well, it's uh, mostly about gigantic monsters. So, without further ado, let's play. The dog lowers his hackles, his head tilted inquisitively. Convinced that you're harmless, he turns his attention back to the corpse. With a deep, heartbroken whine, the dog bows his head. The dog whimpers nervously, as if to urge you on. The dog looks at his owner with sad eyes. He does not move. The dog sniffs your hand, his tail swung low in understanding. He knows how to find you. We will visit Scratch at the camp later. Now to the owlbear nest. Huh. Uh. Owlbear tracks. Its nest must be nearby. Dead Albert prey, no doubt. Ah! I've applied guerrilla tactics to most, if not all, of the encounters in this game. This time, to impress Lysel, that is, I'm gonna meet the owlbear head on. You feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owlbear, its beaked face looming out of the darkness. The owlbear's one good eye flicks away for a moment. You follow its glance and see an owlbear cub. 
Like in DOS 2, while one of your characters is in dialogue, you can freely switch to another and perform other tasks. In this case, Shadow will cast Bless as a pre-fight buff on the spot. Anyway, her Command Halt spell will be very handy in this fight, cause the Owlbear has mediocre wisdom. looks from you to his dead mother. A single strike will end his suffering. You watch speechless as the cub begins to eat his mother. Prolonged its misery. An owlbear egg. These are supposed to be worth a fortune.
Lysel's approval got cancelled out. But uh, that's fine because the Albear Cup, after a string of events, will eventually end up in our camp. And I'll update you on that on a future vid. In my previous vid, Shadow already confessed that she's a worshipper of Char, the twin and antithesis of Selena. And uh, since this is a shrine to Seluna, prepare for her unsolicited opinion. A shrine to Seluna, a grotto like this. There's magic at play here. A spell keeping this chest shut. that a prayer sheet with the same symbol as the one on the chest Just read the prayer in front of the chest. Chests unlocked. My prayers are answered. You should leave it, or even destroy it if possible. This rubbish is an offering to Saluna. At best, it's worthless. At worst, who knows, could be cursed. Trifling with that moon witch will only bring you trouble. Shah's guidance is clear. you can sell them for a couple of coins. Well, besides this idol, the other items are fairly valuable. Good find, nonetheless. Alright, we're back at the Blighted Village. And again, Shadow's gonna put her two cents in this matter. She's starting to annoy me, actually. By the way, like with the Owlbear, I'm not gonna go for an ambush. We're gonna take this fight head on. That said, the odd elopers will be edged badly, if you know what I mean. As you approach, a guttural scream and a succession of quick bangs rattled the door. Then, a low moan. Someone, or something, is having a bit of fun. Leave it. Whoever's inside doesn't want an audience, and I don't want to fight. What are you doing? Wind. Smash. Oh, smash you!
Well, that was unnecessary. Were you jealous of them or something? Your curiosity could have turned very unhealthy if that fight hadn't gone our way. Actually, that was just disgusting. And for Christ's sake, it's all for the kill EXP. So stop yapping, you whammon. To remind you, this episode is supersized. So, we're facing an ogre again. But uh, three of them this time. However, now I'm back to what I do best. The ambush. And the squad is already set for some death from above. Anyhow, Shadow is gonna open this fight as a grenadier.
looting lump the enlightened nets you this headband, perhaps the most powerful item for wizards here in early access. Okay, finally to rescue the gnome. Of course, goblins are not supersized, but in terms of quantity of enemies, this fight is massive in its own right. By the way, though I find Shadow 2 nagging, I can take away the fact that she's really versatile in combat. And uh, like what I did in Episode 6 against the Harpies, she will be my tank with her Mirror Image spell. And on top of that, Shield of Faith to boost her armor class to an insane amount of 27. Again, the rest of the squad is already set for the ambush. to fly. Stop this thing! <laughs> Flap those wings some more and I'll feed you a worm. And you. Hope you got a stomach for rights. Since I'm gonna attack them anyway, there's no need to finish the dialogue. Take note. I'm gonna burn the shit out of the goblin boss first because he might surrender, stopping the fight midway and therefore denying you of their sweet kill EXP. All of them must die. That is my goal.
And that is how you make things easy. Alright, let's release the gnome by hitting the brakes. Maga Kamara, those pustulant thugs! Well, get on with it. You saved me, now you'll extort me. That's how this works, yes? Nothing? You're teasing me now. I'm certain of it. Take my pack, if you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. I'll travel lightly from now on. Ignorance is alive and well, it seems. Deep gnomes aren't restricted to the Underdark, you know. I've lived in Baldur's Gate for years. I'm in search of a friend. I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. I found it around the neck of a thug in the lower city. It was speckled with blood. My friend, nowhere to be found. But I still have hope. I'm heading to his home in the Underdark to discover what happened. I always help my friends. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well, we will have met again. Now let's head back to the camp and meet Scratch. You spot a name on the dog's collar. Scratch. As you saw, batting him gains the approval of your companions. Anyhow, technically we're done with the Blighted Village. On the surface, that is. So, the next episode could be underground. You'll just have to stay tuned in to find out. And that is all there is for now. Thanks for watching. Also, check out other videos from Sabbath Band Philippines and don't forget to subscribe. See you on my next bit. Peace out, y'all.